American Redditors, how do you deal with spoiled rotten trick or treaters? I don't tend to have problems with crappy trick or treaters because I give out full size candy. They only get the candy though if they say trick or treat and if they're in costume. I don't have many requirements for the costume so when teenagers who aren't really in costume show up I ask what they're supposed to be and if it's something stupid like high school student or a human I tell them to try again. One year I had a kid tell me he was dressed as the guy who was gonna rig my house if he didn't get some freaking candy. I told him I was way off and that I thought he was the multiple stab wound victim they'd find in the river tomorrow. My neighbor is going to give out campaign pamphlets, both presidential and senatorial, to kids who give him a hard time. I have kids that just walk up and put their bag up without saying a word. I just stare at them until they either say trick or treat or thank you. Ran into one of these last year. I refused to give candy until I was properly trick or treated. Made for a very awkward 5 minutes. You forgot about raisins. You are a monster. You are really nice kid, caramel apple, you and butthole, caramel onion, frick you, enjoy. I know one guy that gives away pocket bibles to little shoots too. Caramel bible. Yell trick and spray them with silly string. Or mace. Just give out pencils. I was always pretty peed when I got pencils. They were always the crappy kind you have to sharpen yourself. This is America my pencils shouldn't have to be sharpened. A bucket of chocolate syrup to pour in their bag. Freaking shoots. Jokes on you. My bag is full of vanilla ice cream. I give them ketchup packets instead of candy. Even better when you put the ketchup in individual bags so they think it's tons of candy. But when they get home it's just ketchup. I could clean out all the old canned goods I have to. Here kid have a fresca. Worst I get are the uncostumed teenagers that can't count to two. Oh, you said two pieces of candy? I'll take six. Many of the people in my neighborhood are fairly poor so, I'm not going to be a dong and deny 50 cents of candy to anyone. Plus, I like keeping my house and trees TP free. Also fun are the parents that come to the door while their kid is at a different house, then yell at them across the street. Hey, kid's name. What the heck you want really? Just freaking buy your kid a bag of candy and you won't have to go out in the cold. My 5 year old will probably go to about 5 houses before he calls it quits, but loves handing out the candy at the door. I like the parents that walk around with a bag for their little brother who's too sick to come out. Dang, that kid must be about dead by now. Fourth year in a row. Pass out toothbrushes and floss for those snotty little shoots. Full size bars for awesome ones, though. Not something I did, but every year on Halloween my mum would go to our local Asian supermarket and buy a massive bag of durian flavored candy. Seriously, nastiest sweets ever. Then when an extra bratty child came along, she'd smile sweetly and hand them an extra large bag of them. If any of you want to try durian flavored sweets, don't. Seriously. Some Ashile handed out coupons to a gym membership with his candy. I think it was healthy candy too. I always offer one to the board, cold teenager standing at the back of the drive. Whether they volunteered to look after their younger siblings or were forced to, they obviously would rather be somewhere else. Most politely decline, but it always makes them walk off a bit less miserably. In our area there is a time limit on trick or treat, so right after the end time these teenage douche and training teens with the going to Iraq size duffel bags and no costumes, or maybe they were douche and training costumes come to think of it, make the rounds. Hey, we're your last kids tonight so why don't you just give us the rest of your candy? I just pointed at some kids down the street. No, they were. Plastic easter eggs filled with mercury, does the trick every time. Hey my bag's pretty heavy I must have a buttload of goodies to enjoy later. Boom. Call the next door neighbors and tell them that the next guys they're gonna get are stinkers. Next thing you know, she'll come out of the door in a sad face and say there's no more candy. Sorry. The ones that really bother me are the kids that just put on their little league uniform and call it a costume. If it's something you do in real life, it's not a costume, except for professional sexy nurses. Give them more candy, increase their risk of diabetes, and let Darwinism take effect. That's the spirit. I got Heath bars to hand out. It's a proven fact that you don't start liking Heath bars until you are an adult. 
You're welcome, parents. This may sound corny, but I got the idea from Reddit. Wear a white shirt that says life on it and just hand them lemons. Uncostumed children last year who didn't even say thank you when we were gracious enough to actually give them candy despite their lack of effort. We're not giving out crap this year. Those little brats can go to heck. If I were not working during trick or treating hours, I'd open the door and just let my big old dog bark at them. Then close the door again. Last year we had kids like that, thinking they deserved extra handfuls of candy. So this year I bagged a few pieces each and only will bring out as many bags as there are kids in costumes on my porch. It is also the perfect time to clean out the fridge of unwanted spoiled goods. A hammer. Brit folk here. Eggs fired from a remote controlled cannon work wonders. Not 10 minutes ago did a group of kids knock on my door extremely loudly and repeatedly. While one yelled gimme candy it's my birthday then the little brat started to open the door and come in right as I was reaching the door. I just gave them all candy and shut the door. His friends were acting far more respectful and saying thanks. But then the kid starts banging again on the door. So I open it and he demands more candy since it was his birthday and I only gave him one. I said okay and gave fistfuls to his quiet and obviously embarrassed friends and just looked at him before I shut the door, leaving him with a single two-piece starburst pack. I had a couple of turds this year who bitched about me giving them too little. This is in Norway where most people don't participate, so they should be happy to get anything at all. After I gave candy to three of the four, two of them said are you kidding, begging for more. I gave the last kid the same amount and said they could at least be polite, shutting the door. I wish I had had a couple pieces of cat crap for them, though. I'm thinking about giving them Auburn tickets. I was raised to think that going trick or treating is a privilege, not a right. And to keep in mind that people spent a bunch of money on candy. So I dang well better be respectful of that. One time, I forgot to say thank you. So my mum made me give the woman all my candy. Now, I don't give out candy to kids who whine and are brats to their parents. If they don't say thank you, I would reach into the bag and take back what I gave them. I don't answer the door. Look them straight in the eyes and squeeze a mayonnaise packet into their bag. I keep a basket of dollar store toothbrushes for those kids. I just pretend I'm not home, as we speak, I'm hiding out in my bedroom because my dog just barked, notifying me that there are children close by. I always figured that when I am get my first apartment house, I'm going to free some fun size candy every year for the spoiled kids the next year. You don't like a fun size Snickers have a year old frozen fun size Mary Jane. I'd wear a scary mask and follow them around, stopping at every house they did and staring at them. I fake a mental breakdown about how I try and try to make people happy. You have to be screaming like an insane person the whole time, and if they try to walk away you scream for them to come back. If you want to go all out, fake a suicide in front of them. Get one of those exploding blood packs and a cap gun from Spirit Halloween or any other Halloween store, and press toe. You have now condemned a group of kids to years of therapy. Quick, like this video fast before Oji gets you. Like this video in 2.1 seconds or she'll take all of it. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.